If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we put up a new video. Just got to our campsite, Rio 2, and it's empty, so we can head on in. Scott's backing in. It's too much, too much, too much. Okay, go straight, Jafe back. This way, a little bit, okay. We even got into a spot yeah, early. early. It's only 10 now. 15. We're at Jetty Park Campground. We just finally settled in. I'll give you a tour. Feels it's really nice out today. It's a cabin. I guess you can rent. The site that we have was site 302 and it was level. So which was great. It has these patios. I can smell the ocean. This is a pet friendly campground. We have full hookups. Not sure if they all are full hookups. The camp store is down there, but because of COVID, you need to call them and tell them what you want. And then you give them the credit card over the phone and you just come and pick it up within the hour. So it's con contactless pickup. You hear the birds chirping. Looks like you can get a spot right on the water over there, but there wasn't available when we were there. There's the dump station. If you don't have a dump station, I guess you could dump. So, before I came, I got a call from the campground to pay my final balance because the, everything has to be contactless. Looks like there's ice if you need it. Some really pretty trees here. It's a really beautiful day. Blue skies, it's not hot at all. It's supposed to be in the low 70s, so it's going to be perfect. This looks like a little picnic area if you want to sit. And a uh, horseshoe. And shuffleboard. There's a fire pit, so we don't have a fire pit at our campground, so I'm, I'm guessing you can use that if you want. They have some bike trails I saw. There's our RV. We're back. And right there are some uh, cruise ships. And it's, as you can tell, it's a gorgeous day. And it has a nice breeze. It's a nice cool breeze here. And it's nice and flat, and people have been riding bikes and scooters and some kind of, I don't know what it's called, it's like, uh, it has a wheel it's, and the kids ride, ride them with their feet and there's nothing holding them up and to it's me kinda, you can break your neck. Kind of like a unicycle without a stick. It's, yeah. 
It's a unis something. Right. right. Well, like a pogo stick, but it has a wheel. No and you pole, don't and you don't you pogo. Right. And you, so it's nothing like a pogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I used to do the pogo sticks. That was actually really sticks fun. Sticks at the same time? Pog what was it called? Pogo stick? Yes. I used to do it. I used to have one. I loved it. And you jumped up and down. I haven't thought about that since I had it. So funny how things come back to you. The campground is pretty has some beautiful trees. I like the fact that it has the, as I said earlier, it has the um, cement uh, um, concrete, what is it called? Concrete? Pad? Pad. Name. So you're flat and uh, you just can't go into the store to shop, the camp store, but you can call them and get what you need if they have it. So we're sitting here on the beach and a gentleman in a ice cream cart came rolling by and we decided to get some ice cream. So Melissa went over to get some ice cream and was saying I hope he takes um, credit card because we don't have cash. So she went over there and asked if they take um, credit cards. He said um, no, only um, cash or Venmo. So Melissa came over here all disappointed. And behind her, a guy says, what do you want? And Melissa says, excuse me? He says, yeah, what, what can I get you? I'll get it. I'll pay for it. And Melissa saying, no, 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 no. He said, don't worry about it. So he, um, he ended up paying for our ice cream. And he said um, that he had just gotten a big tip and he just wanted to pay it forward. So I was thinking, you know, better the world would be if every day, two times a day, Everyone did something like that. We're pretty amazing. So on Sunday night, there'll be a launch of the SpaceX rocket, and we're told that it will occur somewhere over the, over that mountain. I think it's the sign which is on there it says it'll be going off about 9.45. So it goes up here and everybody gathers in this area. And I guess this is where when Apollo 11 took off or all those Apollo missions, this was kind of where people came to look. That's 9.45 tomorrow night. We'll have it hopefully right here on Channel 7. You can go fishing here and over there is the jetty pier. So I just heard that the cruise ships that we saw earlier out in the ocean are coming in, at least one of them. I think it's a ghost ship. Right? Well, there has to be somebody on it. I'm no, sure there is a captain just, on it. I think it's just very good winds. Nobody waving except Disney songs, please. Boy, he knows all the tunes. What are you making? Pancakes. Some of them have chocolate chips in them. What are you making it on, though? On the Blackstone Griddle. Oh. This is my favorite. But where do you get the propane for that? From the RV. Oh, you mean that's what that cord is? Yep. So that cord connects. So it makes it easy. So it's like a quick connect. Yep. Wow. You don't have to buy, you don't have to buy those tanks from like Home Depot. You just yeah. have to go to a propane and they do it for you. That's nice. 
I'm having a nice pancake breakfast made by my wonderful darling wife. And Melissa just cooked it on the Gladstone. It's a Blackstone. Blackstone. Gladstone. Yeah. Where, where'd that come from? Gladstone? I thought you were joking. I don't know where the Gladstone What's Gladstone? So we left Jetty Park Campground with our bikes today, our electric bikes, and we rode to Along the Beach, which yesterday when we saw the bike riders on the beach, it was definitely low tide, so it wasn't as much room, but it was a lot of fun. It was beautiful, it was such a beautiful day. We rode all the way to Cocoa Beach Pier, which only took us like 19, 20 minutes to get from once we got on the beach. So on the uh, Google map, it showed seven miles and about 39 minute bike ride, but we do have electric bike and it was a straight shot. Cocoa Beach Pier in Cocoa Beach, Florida. How was the bike ride? Great bike ride from where we were at Jetty Park, heading down south along the beach to Cocoa Beach. Westgate Cocoa Beach Pier is an historic landmark on Florida's Space Coast and it stretches 800 feet over the Atlantic Ocean. It is home to restaurants, bars, gift shops, and live musical entertainment. In addition to great fishing, the pier offers fishing equipment rentals, beach lifeguards year-round, and some of the absolute best surfing on the East Coast. So I'm going to attempt to go on the water. It is freezing though. She should be coming out, probably under house arrest. What happened? Yeah. 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 Disney cruise ship from our RV. It's so weird to see it. Like it's just there. Very cheesy. Okay, I have to run the Scott tried to attempt to put up this tent for the beach and as you can tell did not happen. Very confusing. I think he's still trying to figure it out. Even though he said he gave up. Emma. So what do you have to say to all, to I'm everybody? To figure out I know, how to tense. put that monstrosity together. Yeah, I think we need something easy, like a pop-up tent for the future. This Walmart tent was not good. So this took about 30 seconds to put together. Pretty easy. Actually, not at all. It took me an hour to figure out how to do this. Um, 
so it's very effective, but complicated. But now that I know how to do it, um, for next time, it'll be a piece of cake. So I'm sitting here relaxing. Without this, I would be probably back at the RV because I tend to bake in the sun. So I have to be shaded in the water, an umbrella, something has to be covering me while Melissa can fry herself in the chair, no problem. Our RV site is, I'd say, 50 yards behind us. A two minute walk to come here. There's Scott on the kite. There's Scott. We're at the Exploration Tower. Just rode our bikes from the campground. We're on top of the Exploration Tower in Cape Canaveral. Right now it's free because of COVID. They can only allow about 20 people at a time. Down there is a whole bunch of restaurants that we're going to be going to one of them for dinner. We're at Fish Lips, right not far from our campground. minutes 40 seconds. The Starlink payload continues to be healthy. The Falcon 19 is tracking no issues on the rocket. No issues. The weather is also looking great. The weather is great. Still remaining green Looks like we're going to see it. Testing. It does look like we have held the countdown. Uh oh, it stopped. Yes, sir. Minute 20. It was an abort call, so <gasps> give us a few moments. We're going to check in with the team to, and uh, listen on launch then to see if we can get some more information to oh. share. Oh, you're freaking kidding me. We have an T minus one minute 24 seconds. The next launch opportunity is tomorrow, oh. March 1st at 8 15 p.m. Eastern Time. Hopefully, you'll join us again. For Are you serious? It's not going to happen. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? Scott and Melissa. We're with RV Rolling with MJ and this week we headed up to Jetty Park which is in Cape Canaveral, Florida and we are just yards away from the Kennedy Space Center where there may be a launch this evening so we'll have some footage Keeping of that. Keeping our fingers crossed. Yep. Um, so we'll 
keep you abreast of that. So tell us a little about uh, the park. Well, the park is very close to the beach and the ocean, literally maybe five minutes or less to walk there from here, which is great. You could also go walk to the jetty pier. Um, a lot of people are fishing on there and some great views of the ocean. The campground itself has a volleyball court, a kids playground, a huge playground. Also there's horseshoe and shuffleboard. It doesn't have a pool, but it doesn't, I don't believe it needs a pool because the ocean is right there. It's a great campground because of location. Plus you can see cruise ships. We actually saw Disney pass right by us, not in the camp, well actually, take that back. We did see it, um, the top of the Disney cruise ship while we were sitting at our campsite and they were playing a Disney song with the horn. But if you go right to the channel, you get to see the cruise ship going uh, uh, right by you. So that was really cool. She's come a long way, hasn't she? She just took over the show. I have nothing more to say. So generally when we come to a, an RV park um, or, or a town or a city or something we want to review, um, we judge it on a scale of uh, 10 to 1, with 10 being the best place we've ever been, 1 being, well, not so best place we've ever, ever been. And the things that we look for um, during our review are? The uh, staff, how friendly, how easy it is to access the uh, campground. Yep, how, how clean uh, the campsite is, um, does it feel cluttered, um, is it well maintained, um, the amenities obviously are a big part of what we look at. Um, the view. The view and, and, and view, that, that's probably the number one thing we look at. Is there something in the park that is just a wow factor for us? Um, so we kind of put that all together and, and, and we generally don't um, judge the town or the city, but we talk about it. Um, but so uh, with all that said, Melissa, tell us about your rating for this week. Okay, well I'm gonna give it, I really thought hard about it, but I'm gonna give it an eight and a half because the campground of this proximity to the beach and the ocean that you can see cruise ships and supposedly submarines, but we didn't see that. The pier, if you wanna fish. Uh, also, um, you could possibly see a rocket launch if you happen to be here when that happens. So I think that's really cool. And also, you can go to Cocoa Beach and you can go to Cocoa Beach Pier, which isn't horribly far. We actually rode our bikes on the beach and it only took us about 20 minutes on the beach to ride our, our bikes. The, 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 the rocket launch, you have to be very lucky to catch one because um, I mean, there's not a whole bunch of them that take place, and even if you were to book a site thinking there is going to be one, the chances are it's always canceled due to weather or some other mechanical failure. So, the, the, the really the stars really have to align perfectly for you ever to able to catch one of these launches. So hopefully tonight in the evening um, there is one scheduled, rescheduled actually for this evening. Um, so we're looking forward to that. So yeah, I, I'm actually gonna give this a nine, <laughs> and um, just to be different <laughs> with with <laughs> Melissa. So um, th I mean, the campsite if you've seen in the video, um, the, the few things I know. First of all, for some reason, all the RVs are very well maintained. They're fairly new. I don't know if there's a requirement or not. I don't think there is. It's just yeah. a coincidence. But they're all like fairly new rigs. Um, um, it, the sites are close together, but it doesn't feel close together. And also, it is very quiet at night, which is um, yeah. shocking. Um, given how close people are, you, you could you don't really hear anybody when you walk around. We walked around last night um, to, to take a peek. Um, the, the the jetty area um, where the cruise ships come in and out. Uh, it's just a beautiful area. Uh, you get the fishing pier. The beach is five, um, not, not even five minutes, from three minute walk from here. Um, as Melissa said, it doesn't have a pool, but 
you, know, you got the ocean um, right there. And the ocean is one of those flat surfaces. So that's why we're able to bring the, um, the uh, bikes on the beach um, and, and go. We went all the way to Cocoa Beach yesterday, uh, about seven miles, I think. Yeah. Um, right on the beach. Didn't have to use the uh, uh, highway or the, uh, the, the street. Um, it's just got everything you want. Um, never get, I'm probably never going to give a place a 10. I'm sure there'll be one, but right now I ha haven't seen it yet. So this is probably the closest as we've been so far. And until next week, we will see, see you on, on the road. road.